Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Angela and this is Angela and Lisa Land. Okay, so last year was crazy. 2021 for me was a train wreck that I was also a passenger a cameraman and a photographer on it was like just watching yourself in like <laughs> mid train wreck and you don't know how to get off of it you want off but you can't look away you don't want to look away but you want to... I mean it was horrible it was the worst year of my entire life so I won't tell you how old I am <laughs> because I'll let you guess and you can play with that number but let's just say I have a lot of years that I could pick from okay that being said, I'm determined. 2022, I want to be the best year that I can make it. So in order for me to go forward, I need to see where I've been in my business. I truly believe that. History is important, people. It really is. And your business history is no different. So I didn't do December because normally I would do the last month. Um, but because December was really odd, I ended up taking two weeks off of the last uh, the last two weeks of December off of the year. So I decided to go back and it ended up being one of the best months I had, not in my entire eBay career, but at least la of, of last year. So it's November of 2021. And let's see, my total sales for November were $2,991.39. And, um, it was $179.49 were collected by eBay for taxes. My selling costs, including shipping and everything, was $1,352.90. So I made my net profit $1,459. So I sold 127 items. My average sale price was $23.55. And um, so if you watched... Um, I don't know if I've launched the other one yet, but if I haven't, I'm going to be launching a video that kind of talks about my business plan for 2022. And in there, it's got some stats. And I said I needed to sell about 128, 127 items at $24.14 per average sale price, ASP. So that fits with what I would need to do. Now, I didn't quite clear 3000 that month, but I... Um, I was very close, so I'm using these numbers, and those are those match with what I would need to do. So if I could just keep November up every day of the year, we'll be good to go. Now, normally I would be able to sustain that, but last year, I'm not going to make excuses, but there were so many medical visits and hospital visits and things happening medically for my family that um, it was really rough. And... It took a toll on me emotionally, physically, and mentally. So along with my goals for my business, I realized how important it is to be your best, your healthiest, and your most emotionally stable and, um, and your well-being is just so important to how everything else goes. So along with having financial goals, I want to have personal goals to try to maintain my health, to take care of myself. I don't drink enough water during the day because I'm running around teaching my kid, but that's so important to feeling healthy and your weight and just feeling well, but you don't have a headache because you're dehydrated. Uh, it makes a huge difference. Just having a couple glasses of water here and there, eating when you should. I skip breakfast, not a good thing. I skip snacks. Sometimes I don't eat till dinner time. And then there are other days I gorge the whole day. Like having a regular routine eating schedule. Um, even if it's not the same time, but at least getting in three meals and two snacks. Healthy snacks, not potato chips. Hmm, that's my favorite. That's my downfall. Like I would rather not have dessert and have tons of salty things. So anyway. But just little things like that are so important to our health and they do make a big difference. Remembering taking medications that I need to take and setting a schedule for that. 
things I have not been doing very well. And it takes a toll on me physically, mentally, it takes a toll on my family, and it takes a toll on my business. So along with financial goals this year, I'm adding my wellness plan to that. So I thought it was important to come on here and I hope everybody rethinks their strategies for business and includes themselves in that plan. Because especially if you're the only one in your business right now, if you go down, who's going to take over for you? For me, no one. So just remember to take care of yourself and build these things into your day because it's crazy. They're not just going to automatically happen. I thought they would. I thought it'd be easy. It's not. And when you are working from home and you have a family home, <laughs> I have my son here. I'm teaching him. I thought, oh, you know, I'll be home. I can grab water whenever I want. I actually did a better job when I used to go to a nine to five job where I purposely planned out my breaks and I'd make sure I got water, go to the bathroom, eat, do all the things that I needed to do to make me feel good, to take care of myself. I did a better job of that when I was in the workforce outside of the home. So I just wanted to throw out that out there to everybody. Well, I hope you're having a wonderful morning. morning. <laughs> some kind of blub up. I hope you're having a wonderful morning, noon, or night whenever you're watching this. Thank you so much for staying tuned. I hope you enjoyed this and uh, if you did, please hit the like button. It helps me know I'm making videos that people actually care about and um, comment below. Like, What is your self-care routines? Do you have built-in water breaks? I never thought that was necessary and it's more important than ever. So I would just like to hear if anybody else found themselves in the same boat that I did. You know, the boat without an oar or water. <laughs> I, don't I don't know, I guess. Anyway, i talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Have a girl. <laughs> I can edit this video. All right, see you in the next one. Bye.